Welcome to this video lecture. I am Priya Dashan, Assistant Professor of Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. This video lecture will give you the idea about software architecture. This consists of uh, what is software architecture, the, what is the software architecture defines, what are all the evolutions inside there and their requirements to implement and design guidelines to create a software with the help of the software architecture, what are all the quality attributes we need to ensure before producing the product to the users. In this introduction, I am going to define what is the software architecture. Normally, a software architecture is used to, is, is, is it like a blueprint that is used to uh, design a software based on the principles. In another way, we can say it out that is a blueprint for a software system for construction and evaluation of an <coughs> individual attributes. It also consists of abstractions, composition and decomposition of attributes and also within the styles. This introduction is also continues with the uh, two definitions of software and architecture. Here architecture is a combination of elements, forms and their constraints because of rationally. Software is normally a set of codes or in instruction which is written by a programmer. Simply we can define a software architecture as the organization of a system. <coughs> this architecture evolutions uh, giving the importance about how we are going to handle the complexity and what are all the communications between the users and the client and programmers with the stakeholders, what are all the requirements to increase the attributes facility with the concerns of the stakeholder point of view. We have to in, uh, reduce the times and also budget should be in the limit, other resources, how we are uh, utilizing their other users very efficiently and also the evolutions help us to uh, evolutionary prototyping that is uh, reducing the risks. This requirement and implementation includes a very pivotal role because of every architecture need an application. That application should have an architecture because of that architecture only we can create, design, build and proper software material. For that we need an architect and also architecture is not a phase of a development, it is a process and also considering the architecture rightly and also properly begins with the requirements and finding the process to take it out. In this requirements, activities involved in requirement phases are a notion of structure and designing the solutions. By creating the structure, we have to find out some solutions <coughs> to sort out what are all the design patterns, what are all the difficulties faced by the programmers and how we are going to tackle it. Uh, we all know that waterfall model is the initial phase of model in every architectural engineering that is a software engineering. This is a basic rule which has to apply to uh, outcome of a good software product. Then next one is our implementation phase. This implementation uh, usually defines a process of how we are adopting and integrating software application into a business workflow. That is, it is going to define how well all the process of software is utilized by each and every one based on the what kind of application we are undergoing. The task of implementation process is create a machine executable language of source codes. This implementation process may add or modify architecture. There is no presumption of that architecture should be completed before the implementation begins. That also we, the, we came to the main and important point that is the design guidelines. This guidance is very much useful to create a software architecture to name as a good product because by go through the guidelines only we have to assign the attributes, we have to create the values based on that value we, we can achieve the goal by using the design plan. Design plan consists of elements of a system, how they fit into that application and how it should work in the application to fulfill the requirement of that good system. This design guidelines also includes uh, implementation task likes including detailed design, coding, integration and testing and also in this design phase I am giving you the diagram. The diagram tells us about how the detailed design and also hardware architecture analysis are get put together to produce a good software design. We are having three phases that is having domain analysis, requirement analysis, risk analysis to overall uh, accumulate the requirement process. In that we are having the hardware architecture design that is what are the hardware, hardware devices which should support the software architecture. In this here we are ha also having detailed design about coding, integration and testing. What are the quality of attributes in every classes? 
we normally know that quality of system should be consist of availability, modifiability, performance and security, testability, usability cases. The what are the business qualities if I am creating a if I am creating good software product to produce to the stakeholders mean I have to follow the some rules. The rules are I should produce the product on time that is time to market. The cost of the product should be less and the benefit of the product should be high. Project lifetime of the system. <coughs> I should increase the lifetime of the system that is maintenance of the system should be very low. <coughs> then roll out schedule is to be very fast and also qualities of the architecture itself has to be improved in the uh, quality phase and the design phase. Design phase identify what are the key functions in style the uh, structural choices made in the creating system and also it classifies how alternative available is for each and every choices. We are having a three steps for design phases. First, we have to define the output and what all the data flow inside the architecture. The second one is we have to develop the logic. The third one is we have to write in the code. <coughs> and that continuous design space uh, in terms of correctness, completeness, efficiency with the help of flexibility, consistency and should maintain the probability. Thank you for watching this video.